Hi everyone, it's me again. I'm here to share my second custom Harley journal with you. Um, this one I made out of a cereal box and it is, my desk is a huge mess, it is eight and three quarters by five and three quarters, oh I guess six. And it has two signatures in it. And I just did a whole bunch of layering on the front. I'll stand up so I can see, you can see it all. I just layered a whole bunch of different stuff on the front, which I love the way it turned out. And I collage posed on the picture in the Harley Davidson sign. And on what I covered the cereal box with is, let me grab it really quick. One of these bags I got from Bonnie. She sent me a bunch of these. They're from a restaurant. I don't remember which one she told me, but I forgot. But they're just takeout bags from a restaurant. And that's what I, and I inked it up with um, orange marmalade and um, vintage photo and uh, gathered twigs, I believe it is. But that's, and I just used collage page um over that and yeah that's how I made the outside cover um I used the eyelets with the ribbon closure and let me see let me sit down I fall down I'm crazy um yeah let's just go inside that's how I made the outside, and on the inside, I used some Tim Holtz paper to cover the inside with, and in here is a bunch of tags I made. I coffee dyed everything, like super coffee dyed it, <clears throat> and here I just made a book page pocket, and just made another extra little pocket right there, and that's Tim Holtz paper right there too, and I just used the... Uh, these scissors around the edges of each of those to make it look old and I put I made a bunch of these tags I posted online and I put lines on the back and this is Tim Holtz tissue paper just over a vanilla folder and I just made a whole bunch of those and just an index card and this was out of a Tim Holtz collection, but I don't remember which collection it was. It was my sister's, and she let me have that. And I just ran this through my little corrugated, this little funky thing right here I've been trying to use. Oops, sorry. Ooh, sorry about that. And then I just put some rub-ons on it and inked it up with Vintage Photo. Put that in there. And these were seven gypsy file, little file things. And then I just inked it up and put a rub on on it. And this is just off of a, this is just a file folder too. It was just off the bottom of a tag that I had left over and I just used it as a little tiny tag. And right here I just layered some butterflies and lace and fibers and a ticket. Kind of like Yvonne does. And up here I layered some cheesecloth and this piece of fabric I sewed on that fabric. And then this doily, I did just some layering on it. And on the edges of this paper, to make it look like that, all I did was, um, I took some of my, oopsie, sorry, my desk is a huge mess. Some of this vintage photo re-inker. And I just squirted some on my mat underneath here and just sprayed a bunch of water in it and took my, um, I'll just use this as an example, took the edges of the paper and just kind of ran it back and forth like that. And it just made them look like this. I love that look. Makes it look super old. And hopefully I can keep this big old thing in frame. I just did a bunch of rub-ons. There are Tim Holtz and Seven Gypsies rub-ons in here. And this is just one of her personal photos. I'll take that out. 
And then this is just a Patricia um, book page folder tuck spot thing that she makes. And I just layered a bunch of stuff on there. And then there's this tag that Wendy Thompson, I think that's her last name, sent me. And I love those so much. And this is just off of the bottom of one of the big old tags. And I just made another tag out of that. And I just collage podged a doily back there. And that is just one of her little photos of her niece. Super cute little young little thing. She's so cute. And over here I just did a paper clip. Layered some flowers. These are Tsunami Rose flowers. And I just layered some flowers on it. And this is a leftover piece of this right here. I just made a tag out of that. And then put these birds, these cardinal birds. I just print that off the internet. Some washi tape, Tim Holtz washi tape on here. Oops, can you see that? Lined paper. This little paper clip up here. I don't know if you can see it. But that's a Tim Holtz paper clip right there. And I just glued, that's just a picture I got off the internet. And I just glued that on there. I'm going to stand up so I can see if I'm in frame. And over here, this is a personal photo. And this is Tsunami Rose with the index card, or the journaling inside. And I just put a couple little tickets right here. And this is the bottom of one of the tags I made. And I just put these right there. But this also is a flip-up. A little Rita Donnelly flip-up. I just put these little tags, tickets in there. And over here, see this is where I cut that other little tag off, the bottom of this one. It's just one of my tags. And I just did a bunch of layering on that belly band. And there's just like a little light bulb pin right here with some trinkets on it, which Vonnie sent me that little guy right there. And that is her niece. And I did some stamping. And over here is just a um, tracing paper with some washi. And I just did some layering on it. And this is one of the tags that I made. And I put some of that um, Inca gold on it. I embossed it and then backed it with uh, coffee dyed paper. And then just put that. I, after I inked it, then I just took my finger and rubbed a bunch of where is it of this on there it's old gold yeah just rub that over the top of it I thought it turned out super cool and that's Tim Holtz again and I uh, got that off the internet and I just this is off of a doily that Vonnie sent me and here, um, I seen Miss Sarah from Anywho's Crafts on here on YouTube. She did this, and I thought it was super cute, so I did the same thing. And I just put little tags and made my own tags and put inside. And these are just rub-ons. And I made these tags, and they just flip, so you can still write right here. I'm going to flip them back. I just like these little flippity. Using these little punches, or these tab punches. I thought that was a great idea. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing that. Because I've never seen that ha done before. And some more rub-ons from Seven Gypsies, I believe. Some stamping, some bags, and I just layered up some um, doilies and stuff. Mommy Rose flowers. And then here are just a couple more personal pictures that she sent me. So I just made tags out of them and stuck them in there. I'll show you, but it's kind of her personal pictures. So I try not to show them too much. 
And here's another one of my big old tags. And this I got off of Pinterest, I think. Just get some layering, some more rub-ons. And over here I did a belly band. Here's another one of those tags that I made. I just embossed and made that. Another Tsunami Rose with the journaling inside. And then this one flips open so you can write in there. I like that idea. I super like that idea. Lots of journaling places. And I got these off of Patricia's Pinterest. And I thought they were so cute. I just love those little funky little guys. And some washi tape. And my paper started to crack right here. So I just put washi tape over it. I think I might have cooked this paper too long, but and then I just put some buttons and a gear on there. Made another little paper clip, altered paper clip. And this image is off of the internet. And then a personal photo of her brother. Another personal photo. And over here I did a time card. And these got came from Cheryl, and I just did some layering of some lace. And I put this is extra paper, and then I put this big old tag, and then this one. Some more rub-ons and stamping. And this one I just some Pinterest or internet, can't remember which, and some rub-ons, and this just flips out. Um, internet, and this flips open. Another bag, and some more personal photos, and I got this one off the internet, which I thought was super cool looking. Put that in there. Some more rub-ons. This is Tsunami Rose, and I did a bunch of sewing on everything too, and this is Pinterest. Another envelope with the journaling inside. Just did some layering right there and some washi tape and another one of those cute little guys. I just love them. They're so cute. Almost looks like they're just personally standing on the page. I like it. Tracing paper, and I just, that's a book, and I just layered it on the top of there. And this is some old paper that my mom gave me. It was a, well, when we used to go to school, we had to have book covers, so my mom bought some book covers, and this was the paper that the book cover was. So I just cut it up and put it in here. Some stamping with my stamps. And then another Patricia envelope. And I just put this inside. A bunch of Harveys. I love that. Oh, my hands are not working today. I did too much at my real work. And now my hands hurt. So... Just put that in there, and then you just lift up the flower. And I just put some lace and trims. And I just made a little booklet right here out of that, and another one of those tags I made. Um, Pinterest, so I just clipped that one on there, and then some rub ons. And Pinterest, I just glued that down because I, I just ripped around it and inked it and glued it down because I like it. Tsunami Rose, I believe. This is the, that's the first signature. <laughs> the second signature, I love the way the paper turned out so dark too. And rub-ons. And I just made a pocket right here. And just did a bunch of layering on it. 
out of some book page. <coughs> and I made this tag of file folders. And then this one is a personal photo that I'll just put back there. And right here, I just made a belly band out of some book page and did some layering. And this one, I just sewed this image on here and it's just extra paper. I always think, oh my gosh, I could just put more, so much more stuff in here, but it's so full that I really don't think I should. And this little butterfly I got from Babs here on YouTube a long time ago, and I super love it. So I uh, stuck it in this little glassine bag. Another embossed tag that I made. Um, internet, and so is this one. Just a little banner. Some rub-ons. And these are the internet. Love that one. It's not what you ride, but that you ride. It's not how fast you go. It's about enjoying the ride. It's not when, it's not when you start riding, but continue to ride each day. I love that. And in here, there's some personal pictures and that I made tags out of, and then I also put this one in there. I like this image too. I think I put this in my other book as well. And I super love that one. Reminds me of Sons of Anarchy. I love that picture. So I always have to put that one in because I just love it. Tsunami Rose Flowers. And I glossy accented almost all the flowers too. And then this flips out. And so does the whole page. So you can write. Let's put some lace. Another one of those guys that I love so much. Children, whatever. I just glued them, fussy cut them out and glued them on. I like this one too. That's super cute. So cool. Another personal photo. That's off the internet. I just love that Harley bike. Some more flowers. And over here I did a bunch more. Another book page. Um, tuck spot and just put some layering and stuff on there and I just made this little booklet stuck that in there and then these are Tsunami Rose I think oh my goodness I can't remember where these came from but I just put some little trim on the top of them and made little ticket tags out of them I thought they were super cute Another one of my big old tags. And I got this off the internet. thought that was super cute. And then this. Dreams Etc. or Tsunami Rose. I don't remember which. I just grabbed that out because I wanted some color on here. Follow your dreams. Some lines. And I just punched out some butterflies right here. And this is one of those bags that I just folded up and just did some layering, some book page, and put this journaling card in there. And in here, I put this one. This is Tsunami Rose, Tsunami Rose, Tsunami Rose. And this one behind it. Oopsie. I think this is two pages. Oh my goodness, I need my glasses. Nope, it's not. Just one. Whoops. And over here, another um, book page pocket. I just did some layering and some sewing and made a little flower out of some muslin in the button. And I put this one in there. Get in there. And I ripped that. I gotta fix that. And two personal photos. This one I just made a little booklet out of. And some stamping. Another little, just a little page pocket and a personal photo. 
And I just made another little booklet out of this paper with that cardinal on there. And a little banner tuck. These two tags. She likes the cardinal, so I'll put those in there. Doily, rub ons, little butterfly paper clip. And these two tags. And then this little tag. I love it. I was going to glue it down, but I thought, no, I'm just, she can write on the back of it. Another little guy that I love. More rub ons. And I just made a book page banner out of that Harley right there. That's a personal one. And then I just put this one in there and this one. Sorry if I'm all over. Little pennies right there. Trying to hide photos, but it's not. I'm not doing that great of a job. And just tsunami rose flower. And that one is a personal one, but this one is not. I got this off of Pinterest. And I don't like that idea either. So get that off there. I don't like the way that looks. Let's put some lace over that. Um, Tim Holtz rub ons, some flowers. And I just made a little flip out right here. And another one of those tags I made. And I just glued that on to this tag. Tissue paper, some flowers, and I love that one too, it's so cute. And I just made a tuck spot out of that one, and this one's a personal one, and this one. <clears throat> and I just glued that down because I liked it. And that is this Harley book and it turned out pretty chunky as they all do <laughs> I hope you like it and I'm now on my third Harley book making for Miss Rita Donnelly and I should have that one done by Monday and can show you that one but yeah I hope you like it I'll talk to you soon thank you bye bye